Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying today's session at the 2021 CubeSat Developers Workshop. My name is Muhammad Mubashir Hussain. I am a second year master's student at the University of South Alabama. Here I am presenting our work on behalf of our group titled A Circularly Polarized X-Band Patch Array Antenna with Corporate Feeding for CubeSats. Here we will present the array antenna we designed for a National Science Foundation funded CubeSat mission named Swarmax. Let's begin. Outlines. In this presentation, I'll briefly cover the following topics to mentioned here to explain our work thoroughly, starting from the background and the aim of this project, following by the design procedure, stages, and the conclusion. The Ideas Lab is a National Science Foundation initiative through which National Science Foundation brings researchers with diverse backgrounds together and it looks for uh, the unsolved scientific questions. Space Weather Atmospheric Reconfigurable Multi-Scale Experiment, SWARMAX, is a collaborative CubeSat project with six universities that received a $4 million four years grant from the National Science Foundation under its Ideas Lab initiative. SWARMAX is a swarm of three CubeSats that will investigate the evolution of the equatorial ionization anomaly and equatorial thermospheric anomaly between 300 to 600 km altitude. The intersatellite distances between these three satellites will vary from 0.25 km to 1000 km. This explorer mission has three goals one unlock the and unlock an aeronomy science question two build a new satellite technology three build a skilled faculty and student community in a space system dr scott pelo from the aerospace engineering science department university of Colorado boulder is leading this project leading this multi-university project while the other five participants are georgia institute of technology stanford university university of south alabama Western Michigan University and Olin College of Engineering. In figure one, you are seeing a 3D view of SWARMAX CubeSat. Communication subsystem of SWARMAX. SWARMAX communication system will have UHF uplink, downlink, and crosslink communication at 450 MHz. For science, load, science data download, it will use X-band communication. X-band patch array will work with the Bluefin X-band radio for X-band communication from 8.45 GHz to 8.5 GHz. Apart from this, SWARMAX will have GPS system to determine the satellite positions and global star communication system for telemetry downlink in figure. Uh, in figure two, we are seeing a representation of right and circular polarization communication between the SWARMAX and the X-band antenna, SWARMAX X-band antenna and the ground station. Link budget. Table one shows uh, the shows a summary of the Swarmax X band downlink communication link budget. Here we can we calculate we consider the center free we consider our center frequency at 8.4 gigahertz with an altitude of 500 kilometer. And primarily, we consider K satellite, uh, K satellite uh, 3.7 meter dish for the ground station antenna, and a maximum data rate of 10 Mbps. And we saw that for a transmitting antenna gain of 13 dBi, we get around 7.6 dB link margin, which meets the 6 dB link margin requirements of this project. Single element. Um, right hand circular polarized antenna to design the x-band antenna we started with the single element uh, in figure two figure three shows the single element antenna the single element antenna um, and the um, the design parameters of the single element antenna is listed in table two and here we can see the patch the square size patch uh, uh, the square size of this patch is 11.4 uh, millimeter to 11.4 millimeter and the uh, perturbation amount is 1.15 um, millimeter figure 4 we are seeing the right hand circular polarization 
gain comparison between the single elements and with the one by two and two by two arrays and we see that for single element we are getting around 7.2 dbi and for one by two array we are getting 10 dbi and for two by two array we are getting around 13.2 dbi and this single element uh, we used rogers rt5880 as a dielectric material with a thickness of 0 0.79 millimeter and this material is ideal for operation at the expand because it has a dissip lower dissip low dissipation factor of 0 0.0009 at 10 gigahertz and we used uh, negative perturbation at the diagonal cut forms. Here is the proposed two by two X band array antenna for Swarmex CubeSets X band downlink communication. It uses the same dielectric material with same thickness as of the single element. This single layer antenna is excited by a 50 ohm coaxial probe and the power uh, between the patches is treated by a corporate uh, feeding network. Every patch is connected with a 100 ohms feed line, which came from the 50 ohm feed line. And here we can see the 3D view of the antenna, antenna array. And one thing else uh, is the center to center spacing is 24 millimeter and the total antenna size is 49 millimeter by 44 millimeter. Here we can see the axonon axial ratio and gain uh, plots of this standalone antenna. And we can see that the in the targeted frequency, we are getting an excellent uh, impedance matching performance and uh, which is less than minus 20 dB. And here in figure eight, we are seeing the axial ratio uh, plots against the frequency and also the right hand circular polarization plot against the frequency. And we can see that uh, we achieved a axial ratio less than 3 dB from 8,432 megahertz to 8,524 megahertz. And we, we achieved a peak gain of 13.2 dBi at, the, at around uh, 8.49, 8.449 gigahertz. Um, sorry, 8.49 gigahertz, the peak gain. Here we are seeing the beam winds at the center frequency and in figure 9a we are seeing the axial ratio beam widths and we are seeing the axial ratio less than 3 degree beam widths around 71 degree at 5 degree, 0 degree plant and 55 degree at the other plant and here in figure 9b we are seeing the co-polarization and cross-polarization and the co-polarization which is right hand circular polarization gain and we are getting 3 degree right hand circular polarization beam width of 30 to 40 degree and only its lens and also in this region the cross polarization which is left hand circular polarization is around less than minus 10 dB. After we designed the array, we also simulated the antenna on a mock spacecraft model of Swarmex. And we used um, ANSYS HFSS 2020, a finite element method based tool to design and simulate the antenna and also the Swarmex model. In figure A, we are seeing the HFSS model and in figure B, we are seeing the simulated s on plot of the array with the Swarmex CubeSet and the solar panels. And we are seeing that the performance is almost same, but there is a frequency shift of around 20 megahertz. And in figure 11, we are seeing the axial ratio performance and the right hand circular polarization performance. And we can also see a frequency shift in the uh, Axial ratio performance and a 1.4 dBi less gain, less peak gain for the right hand circular position gain. And here we are seeing the axial ratio beam widths, and we can see that at 5 equal to 0 degree, we are getting less beam widths than the standalone antenna. 
here in figure 13, we are seeing the gain versus elevation angle plots and we are seeing the, we are getting better results for uh, antenna with the cube sets for a, a 3 dB right hand circular polarization beam widths. Here in table four, we listed the antenna performance comparison between the standalone antenna and the cube set uh, antenna on cube set. And we can see that for axial, the percentage spin bandwidth remain almost same for this astronomical axial and axial ratio, but there is a frequency shift. And for right hand circular polarization gain, we are getting like around 1.4 dB less. Conclusion. Uh, for a standard antenna, we achieved an excellent impedance bandwidth matching of SLN minus 20 dB, covering the targeted frequency and also the our achieved axial ratio performance uh, meets the requirements. And initially, we achieved to we achieved for 11 dB right hand circular polarization, but the standard antenna achieved around 13.2 dB right hand circular polarization gain. And the gain beam widths are symmetric uh, to the broad side, and also with the um, when we simulate with the SORMAX cube set, we can see that the, it meets the basic requirements of, of this project. And uh, the fabrication and measurements of this antenna are in progress, and we can see the results. After, we, we will see the results uh, after we measure the parameters. Thank you all for thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and feel free to ask me any question if you have in the live QA session.